In this diagram, we have two chromosomes shown here. They are homologous pair. You have one copy from the mother, one copy from the father. The reason they look like this X structure is interface has already happened, so the DNA is replicated, so those chromosomes are made up of one, two sister chromatids held in place by a centromere. In this diagram, we still only have one chromosome, but now it's not as a homologous pair because those have been split between these two cells. So when counting chromosomes, you're counting how many centromeres there are. So one, two chromosomes and two centromeres. One centromere, so this is one chromosome. It's just still composed of two sister chromatids. And then in the second division of meiosis, spinal fibres attached to the centromere, split the centromere in half equally and pull the chromatids to the opposite poles of the cell. So then we end up with one single chromosome and it's a haploid cell, not homologous.